Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi, Pedro. Hi, Josue. Hi, Anna. How are you guys? Hi, Hi teacher. Hi, Mr. How was the day? Nice day. <laughs> How was your day? Was it uh, was it difficult? Was it stressing? Was it normal? Was it relaxing? How was the day? My day is what uh, relaxing. It was relaxing. Okay, nice. Yes. Good for you. <laughs> what about you, Pedro? How was the day? My day is. Uh... Never are relaxing. <laughs> Never relaxing. Never relaxing. It's oh different. wow! <laughs> because it's uh, to goals, different goals, and the production for um, and different uh, companies. Different and, companies. No. And the company, the different days uh, have um, so some trouble, but it's uh, for the uh shipment the shipment or, or in the shipping area too and the production too so oh, wow. every day are different because uh some situation and for the reason is not relaxing <laughs> <laughs> so relaxing in, in here in your class <laughs> ah in the class excellent <laughs> okay yeah i think you're very busy all the time right Yes. Hi, Jose. How, how's everything? Hi, Mister. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Yeah. I'm fine too. Excellent. Excellent. What What your day it is? Uh, it was a little bit busy. I was preparing uh different classes because in the, in the university I am teaching uh basic English. Oh, and really? also I have some students in last year, in fifth year, and uh, there is a subject called uh, Contemporary Universal History. So I, I have to read a lot. I need to prepare a lot of activities because otherwise the students are going to be sleeping in the, in the class. Yes, okay. Because many people don't like history. So I need to change their minds, you know, create different activities so that they can find it interesting. Otherwise, um, it is going to be difficult. And I have, in basic English, it's pretty easy because I have 20 students, okay? So that's, that's it's a short, yes. It's yeah, a it's, short, a, it's, a, it's a short class. However, uh, in the history class, I have 44 students. So, <laughs> That is more challenging. I need to have everyone involved in the class. And that's pretty difficult sometimes because they don't like history. So sometimes they don't come to classes, but I need to push them and, and, and have them uh, practice, you know. But yeah, I was preparing a lot of classes. I was reading a lot. And I, I feel prepared for tomorrow in the morning because I have, oh. I have the two classes tomorrow morning. But yeah. Thank you for asking. Yeah, you are very busy. <laughs> yeah, I am very busy. Yeah. But I'm always happy to be with you guys at night. Okay. Evening, because I think you you like to talk a lot, you like to practice a lot, and that is very nice for me. Okay, because uh, that motivates me to uh, to have uh, nice activities. All right. So welcome back. Thank you so much uh, for your time. Okay. Uh, maybe little by little, the others are going to join us, okay? So, uh, we're going to start, okay? So, on behalf of Inglés Corporativo, welcome back. And we are going to continue practicing the last time for the simple past, okay? Hopefully, this class is going to be the last one for the simple past. But again, I want to practice with you because I know writing is very, is very easy, but... Speaking can be a little bit tricky and a little bit difficult, especially in the past, okay? Okay. So, uh, yesterday, uh, we learned um, a little bit about how to make uh, sentences in negative using the simple past. Also, we'll, we remember how to use questions in the simple past. 
okay? And also we practiced, um, we practiced uh, saying some sentences in affirmative in the simple past, okay? That was very easy. Um, then you were practicing uh, saying some activities and you were asking some questions, okay? It's like, did you, did you, okay? And I remember the last thing that we did was um, working with information questions, okay? Remember that in this case, the answer is not yes, the answer is not no, okay? The answer is a complete sentence, okay? A complete sentence. The first one that we practiced was what time, okay? What time? So that was very easy. For example, what time did you wake up in the morning, okay? And then you need to change the verb because it is a affirmative sentence, okay? Um, then we, start, we, we practice with where. Where did you, for example, where did you study in high school, okay? And you were giving me some examples. I think this is the last one that we saw, right? We didn't see other examples, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we didn't see, for example, we didn't see what, only what, and we didn't see how, right? We didn't do that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, we're going to see some examples using how, okay? How? So I remember this, um, this word was a little bit uh, tricky for us, okay? So in this case, what did you spend your last, sorry, how did you spend your last Sunday? In this case, I am asking what type of activities did you do, okay? On the last Sunday, okay? That is like the translation that we need to have when we have the, the question with how, okay? How did you spend your last Sunday? For example, in my case, uh, in this case, I am not going to use a spend because a spend is asking me for activities, okay? So I don't need to answer with a spend. So in my case, I can say, uh, on my last Sunday, I watched TV, okay? So I need to say the activities. I watched TV. I I cooked steak. Do you know the meaning of steak, people? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is it? It's a, it's a, like, uh, like a beef. Like a, yeah, it's yes. like beef. Uh -huh. But we call in Spanish carnita asada, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. So that's, that's uh, a steak, okay? That is a steak. Um, let's see. Uh, what other activities, for example, how did you spend your last Sunday? Can you tell me some activities that you did last Sunday? Anybody? I played football. Okay, perfect, okay. I played soccer in this case, okay? Football, Okay. it is like American football, okay? Like. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. NFL. <laughs> uh -huh. NFL, exactly. Okay, what about Anna? Uh, um, Sunday, the last Sunday at night, uh -huh. I went to that my older brother. I visited my older brother. Ah, okay. I visited my older brother. Okay, perfect. Okay, so these are some activities that you were doing on a, on a specific day, okay? That's why we have the verb spend, okay? Also, it is possible to use the verb spend. For example, I can say, uh, I spend, uh, sorry, what is, what is the simple past of, of spend? Do we know? Se los puso en la lista, no se acuerdan. Spend. 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 Uh huh. Spent. Okay. Excellent. It's with the letter T. Okay. Spent. For example, how did you spend uh, your last Sunday? Uh, I spent some time with my parents. Okay. I spent some time 
with my parents, okay? That is also possible, okay? But I think it is better to use activities for these type of questions, okay? So we can use also activities. Let's see. The next example that we have is using the, the WH word what, okay? If you remember, uh, we have what time, what hour, okay? Where, for places. And in this case, a combination of how and spend, it can be related to activities. Now, when we have what, in this case, um, the principal verb is do, okay? But in English, uh, we don't have activities uh, beginning with the, le, with the verb. <laughs> the only one that we have is do my homework, okay? Do my homework. So that's the only activity that we have using the verb do, okay? So if, I, if you ask me, teacher, what did you do last night? after the class. I'm not going to answer with do. One more time, I need to say activities, okay? I need to say activities. For example, if you ask me, teacher, what did you do last night after the class? Well, I uploaded the videos to YouTube, okay? That's what I did, okay? That's the activity that I did. Let's see. Pedro, what did you do uh, last night after the class? I, vis I visited my mother. Okay, perfect, okay. I visited my mother. Let's see, Josue, what did you do last night after the class? Um, I, I went to my home. Okay, I went to my, uh, I went to my house, okay? Or I, you can say very easy, I went home, okay? I went home. Uh-huh, I went home. All right, Anna, what did you do yesterday after the class? I talked with my brother and my father. Okay. Okay, perfect. I talked with my brother and my father, okay? And Saida, hi Saida, how are you? Hi teacher. Tell me Saida, what did you do last night after the class? Okay, you need to tell my me. Dinner. Okay, sorry? I cooked my dinner. I cooked my dinner. I cooked okay? my dinner. Perfect, okay? So, it is important that you remember, okay, when we have a question with what and the principal verb do, you don't have to answer with do. You need to answer with an activity. It is different when we have, for example, where did you work? Where did you study? Where did you go? Okay. In that case, yes, I need to answer using the verb. For example, uh, I can say, um, where did you go on Saturday? Ah, on Saturday, I went to the beach. Okay, for example, okay. I need to use the same verb. In this case, the exception is only when I have the verb do, okay? Do. Mm -hmm. Or when I have the verb also spend, okay? Because I need to know the activities that you did, okay? Um, in this case, what time? For example, what time did you do an activity? Okay, for example, what time uh, did you call your mother, what time did you check Facebook, okay? In that case, yes, I need to use the principal verb. So I'm going to do a practice and I'm going to ask these questions to you, okay? I have a little practice to do. So what time did you have lunch today? What time did you have lunch today? Let's see, Anna, what time did you have lunch today? I always have the lunch at 1 p.m. Okay, okay. I always, in that case, you can say, I have, um, I have my lunch. Oops. 
at 1 p.m. As always, okay? As always, okay? That is every day, okay? As always, okay? I had my lunch at 1 p.m. Let's see. Pedro, what time did you have lunch today? Um, I took my lunch at 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock, okay, perfect. But let's remember people, in this question, what is the principal verb? Have. Have, okay, yeah. uh -huh. have. So I need to answer using have, but in the past, okay? I need to okay. answer using have, but in the past. So I have lunch at 12, I had lunch at 12.30, okay? It doesn't matter, but I need to use uh, the principal verb, okay? Let's see another question. Uh, where did you go on your last vacations? Okay, where did you go on your last vacations? What is the principal verb in this case? Go. 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 Okay, so you are going to answer with go, okay? Go. And uh, please, let's repeat. Uh, vacations. Vacation. 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 Mm -hmm. Vacations. Vacation. Vacation. Many people say vacations, you know? Vacation. And that sounds vacation. like like a like a vaca, okay? Vacations. No, okay. Vacation. Okay. Vacation. Uh-huh. Vacation. So um, where did you go on your last vacation? Let's see, Saida. Where did you go on your last vacation? I went to the beach. Oh, perfect. Okay. You went to the beach. Nice, nice. Um, let's see, Anna, where did you go on your last vacation? I went to the to Usulutan. Ah. I visited my uncle. Okay. My nice. uncle house. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Nice. Let's see, uh Josue. Where did you go on your last vacations? Yes, I went to Guatemala City. Oh. I visited the Antigua Guatemala. Antigua Guatemala? Okay, perfect. Nice. Yeah. Was it cold? I, uh, family. Ah, yeah, it was cold. <laughs> I remember it was um, um, 13 o'clock in Fahrenheit. Yeah, wow, yeah, that's very cool. <laughs> okay, but yeah, that's that's good that you that you like it. Okay. All right, the next question What did you do yesterday or not after the class? We we, we were we said uh, some answers to this, so I'm going to change it. Uh, what did you do yesterday before the class? Okay. Let's see, what did you do yesterday before the class, okay? Remember, we have after and before, okay? And many people confuse. After is, for example, the class finishes, so later I do something. That is, uh, that is after, okay? But before is like 7 p.m., 7.30 p.m., okay? That is before the class. So let's see. Um, Pedro, what did you do yesterday before the class? Uh, I I watch uh, TV uh, in my home. Okay, you watched TV. Uh -huh. I watch TV in my home. Okay, perfect. perfect. Let's see, Anna. What did you do yesterday before the class? I had a I had a I had a dinner with my family. Okay, excellent. Okay, and Saida, what did you do yesterday before the class? I washed my clothes. Ah, okay. I washed my clothes. Okay. I washed my. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. And the last one. How did you spend your last Saturday night? Okay, Saturday night. In my case, 
Uh, I ate some pupusas with my family, okay? That was my Saturday <laughs> night, okay? That was my Saturday night. What about uh, Josue? What did you, sorry, how did you spend your last Saturday night? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I spent watch it, uh, watch it, and a series TV in Mexico. Ah, okay. So you can say I watched uh, a series uh, on Netflix. Okay, very yes. simple. Okay. Um, let's see, Pedro. How did you spend your last Saturday night? I ate. Um, with my family, uh, tacos uh, of the Pancho Villa restaurant. Oh, nice, fancy. Excellent. <laughs> yes, <restaurant>. good. <laughs> with the hot peppers. <laughs> ah, excellent. excellent. Okay, Anna, uh, how did you spend your last Saturday night? I went to the McDonald's restaurant with my family. Okay, nice, nice. Delicious too. Okay, very delicious. Okay, yes. and the last one, Saida, how did you spend your last Saturday night? I went to air show. Oh, nice. Did you like it? Yes. Nice. <laughs> but it was hot, right? It was hot. Yes. <laughs> Okay, but it's worth it, okay? You, you, you can say that, it was worth it. Valió la pena, okay? Okay? Worth it. Worth it, uh-huh. It actually, it is, it is like this. It is, it is worth it, okay? Vale la pena. Worth it. Worth it, uh-huh. It is worth it, okay? Perfect. So, any questions? No. No? no. Okay, we're going no. to do something very quickly. Try to think about two questions, okay? Try to think about two questions. It can be what time, what time did you, where did you, um, what did you do, okay? Or how did you spend, okay? Two questions only, okay? Only two questions, okay? So. Think or write, okay? You can write in on a notebook. I'm going to use my, my notebook over here. I'm going to write two questions uh, for some of you, okay? So I'll give you one minute for you to write two questions using or what time or where did you or what did you do, okay? Or how did you spend? Okay. Only two questions, okay? Only two questions. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, awesome. okay, some seconds more, some seconds more. Okay, so when you have your questions ready, you need to choose two people, okay? The person number one is Saida, okay? You can ask Saida if you want. Uh, you can ask Anna if you want. You can ask Josue if you want. Uh, you can ask Pedro or you can ask me, okay? No problem. So I'm going to be the first one, okay? Question number one, let's see. Mm -hmm. The victim, who's going to be the victim? Let's see. Uh, Anna, let's see. Okay. Uh, where... Ask me a question or I'll yeah, I, give you a question? No, I will ask you first, okay? Okay. So listen, uh, where did you have dinner yesterday? Yesterday? 
Mm -hmm. Where did you have dinner mm -hmm. yesterday? I had a dinner at 7 p.m. Okay, where? In my house. Ah, okay, perfect, okay. So I had dinner in my house, okay? I had dinner in my house, excellent. Okay, now the second question. Thank you, Ana. The second question Welcome. is for Pedro. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see, Pedro. Uh, what time did you take a shower today? Uh, I, I took a shower in the uh, 5 a.m. Okay, at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. At 5 a.m. Okay, perfect. All right. Now, Saida, okay? Uh, now you are going to ask Saida. You can ask me, you can ask Pedro, <laughs> you can ask Josue, or you can ask Anna, okay? Question number one. Mm, Josue, mm -hmm. what time did you study English? What? Repeat, please. What, uh -huh. what time did you study oh. English? Ah, okay. I studied English at uh, uh, 4 p.m. Okay, 4 p.m. Excellent. Saida, question number two. Anna. Okay. Ah, Anna. Where did you do on last Christmas? Oh, last Christmas, I went to the Galleria Small, Metro Centro Small, and also I went to my family all, and then I visited different places according to decorate, decoration of Christmas. Ah, excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Nice, nice. You had a long day, a very busy day. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I have a different place, but related to decoration of Christmas decoration. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Maybe it's a beautiful. Yeah, okay. But uh, the problem is that uh, dangerous places, ah. maybe the Cuscatlan Park. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a dangerous place, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. But it's beautiful place. Yeah. When they decorated that the um, park. Merry Christmas, yes. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> decoration is beautiful. Yeah, all the decorations are very nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, thank you. Let's see, Pedro. Uh, question number one, Pedro. Uh, uh, what time did you uh, oh. ex exercise? Who? The teacher, Josue, Ana, or Saida? Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, Saida, why Saida. did you exercise uh -huh. in your in your free time? <laughs> mm -hmm. Excuse me. <laughs> One I more time. Uh -huh. What what time did you exercise in your free time? So or maybe I think I think we can make the question shorter. What time uh -huh. did you exercise? Simple. Okay. Oh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I exercise. Okay. Uh -huh. To Monday to Friday at the morning. From, ah, from Monday to Friday. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay, Pedro. Question number two. Um. Um, where where do you do where do you do in the in the last year in your vacation? Who? Who is the next person? Ah, uh, <laughs> Josué. <laughs> Josué. Okay. One more time, Pedro. Can you repeat the question, please? Uh, uh, where did you go? Where did you go in the last 
during your vacation. Ah, okay. Oh. Oh. Um, I went to, I remember I went to the, to the Cuatepeque Lake. Ah, nice. I visited to my, to my family. Okay. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Pedro. Thank you, Josue. Let's see, Ana, question number one. Okay. What's next? Uh, uh -huh. It's for Pedro. Okay. Uh -huh. What time do you go to the bed? To bed. Did you go? Uh -huh. What okay. time did uh -huh. you go to bed? Yesterday or what? Yesterday at night. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. The last night? Uh, and the last night, uh, 11 o'clock. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> So I went to we bed. Went to go eleven. Uh -huh. Okay. I, uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. The so, question number two uh -huh. uh, is to Saida. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> How did you spend um, go to the war to war? Um. One more time. What is the question? How did How did you spend go to war? Mm. Mm. In that case, uh, Anna, I think. Um, what time? Yeah, I think it's better after spend. You need to say oh, a day. Sorry. For example. Uh, uh -huh. Sorry. Uh, uh -huh. Is how time did you spend to work? How Maybe much? I fold that expression of time. Ah, like how much? Yes. Ah, okay. So the question is, in that case, uh, how much time did you spend at work? That is a question, right? Yes. Okay. How much time did you how spend? How much time did you spend at work? Mm -hmm. Okay. So say that it can be hours. 20 or... minutes. Really? Only 20 minutes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> es que madrugo. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Excellent. Okay. okay, nice. And finally, Josue, question number one. Okay. Let me see. To to Pedro. Where did you travel on your last Sunday? Uh and the last I I throw um in the last one day at Restaurant Mountain in the afternoon wow. with my family. Nice, nice. You have nice trips. <laughs> Alicanto. Ah. Al Alicanto is a good good place. Is that in, in, in El Boquerón or what? Uh, it's uh, in the near Sonsonate. Ah, okay. Like nearby Los Naranjos? Yes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. It's in the, in the same street or... Yeah. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, Josue, number two. Okay, number two to Mrs. Ana Molina. So okay. I make a question about how did you spend uh, your last... A vacation. Mm -hmm. mm, I spent with my nephews and my old family, including my father and my brother. Okay, nice, okay. excellent. Hey, nobody asked me. I was expecting someone to tell me, teacher. <laughs> yeah, I was nervous, and you didn't ask me questions. So I'm, I'm, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's better related to ask to the other uh, classmate because yeah. it's, it's spent uh, a lot of pronunciation or a lot of style of classes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. That's true. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. Now we have other type of questions. Okay. In this case, it is not necessary that we have the auxiliary did, okay? For example, who? What do you think is who referring to? 
Okay. It's, re it's related to the other person, for example, yeah. Kim. Uh huh. Okay, to another person. Okay. So, who worked in the morning? Okay, you can ask that question, and it is not necessary that you use did. Okay. So, in this case, it, that is correct. Okay. Who worked in the morning? Ah, and then you, you need to say the name of a person. For example, teacher Dennis worked in the morning, okay? So you know that you need to use that verb, okay? You know that you need to use that verb. I can say, for example, Josue worked in the morning, okay? I just want to know the person, okay? I want to know the person. Let's see another example. Who had an accident? last year okay who had an accident last year and then i can say the name of a person okay for example or a family member for example my brother had an accident last year okay and so on it depends on the information that i want to know i know the the, the event i know the situation but i don't know the person okay i don't know the person so in this case that is also possible Okay, um, let's see another, another one. Who made a phone call this afternoon? Okay, the same thing. I know that the activity is make a phone call, okay? And it was this afternoon, but I want to know the person because I don't know the person, okay? So it can be my mother made a phone call this afternoon. My boss made a phone call this afternoon, okay? I just want to know the person. Okay, so that's very simple. You don't need to think about the auxiliary. In this case, yes, you need to change the verb because you just want to know the name of the person who did an action, okay? Who did an action. So that's very simple, okay? That's very simple. All right, now we're going to move on to was and where. Uh, what is the present of was and where? Who can remember? Because was and where is the past. The verb be? Ah, the verb to be, okay. For example, if I say am, what is the verb to be? Was. No, the, in the present, sorry. Uh -huh. I? I am. I am. He? He is. Is. He is, okay. It? Is. Is. Okay, is. they? Are. Are. Okay, perfect, okay. That's very simple. Now, um, in this case, we're going to use for am and for is, we're going to use was, okay? That is the one that we're going to use. Let me put it in a different color. I will choose pink, okay? And for are in the past, I'm going to use where, okay? So that's very simple. And we're going to see some examples, okay? Um, oops, I made a mistake here. Okay, um, I can say, for example, right now I am a teacher, okay? But maybe uh, to think in the past, right now I'm not a teacher, but yeah, last year, yes, I was a teacher last year, okay? But now I work in a call center, for example, okay? But I was a teacher last year, okay? Another example, uh, for example, uh, last month, or last year, you, you could say, we are students in the module one, okay, right now. That was in 2019, okay, last year. And also you can say, we were students in the module one last month, okay? Because now it's, it is not the present, okay? We're talking about the past, okay? Um, for example, if I say, let's see, Anna, if I say, um i am in the hospital what is the what is the, the past no it uh, no i wasn't no but I, if i say for example in the present i am in the hospital what is the what is the affirmative in the past yes i am no in the past ah yeah. in the past uh -huh. uh, i was in a hospital excellent okay i was in a hospital okay excellent Let's see, Pedro, if I say, uh, they are my colleagues, okay? What is the past? Okay, they are my colleagues. 
What is the past? Uh, they were my colleague. Mm -hmm. Colleague. Colleagues. They were my colleague. Mm -hmm. Do colleague. you know the, uh -huh. Colleagues. Okay. Do you know the meaning of colleague, people? Colegas. Yeah, colegas. Okay. People that work in the same place that you work. Okay. Or you can, if you, for example, if there is a person that doesn't work in the in the in the same place that you work right now, but you see him or her in the supermarket, you can say, for example, to someone next to you, ah, oh, he was my colleague or she was my colleague, okay? But not anymore, she's working in another place, okay? Mm -hmm. But in the past, yes, she was my colleague, okay? Not anymore. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, Saida, if I say, uh, I am, no, she is 20 years old. She was 20 years old. Okay, she was 20 years old, okay? I can say, for example, last year, last month, okay? Mm -hmm. That's also possible, okay? And finally, Josue. Um, I can say, for example, um, let's see, you are, you are in Canada. Uh -huh. You are in Canada. Okay. Um, I was in Canada the last year. Okay, perfect. Okay. Nice. So don't pay. <laughs> okay, so you are in Canada. I, you can say I was in Canada last year. Or if you want to use you, you can say you were in Canada. Oops, I'm sorry, I missed in. Okay. In. Okay. Or the one that you told me. Okay, I was in Canada. Uh, last year. Okay, perfect. If you see, this is very easy. Okay, this is only the verb to be. Uh, and now I'm going to use uh, the negative, uh, I'm going to use affirmative sentences for writing negative sentences. Okay, and that's very, very simple. You're going to see that's very simple. Okay, so. In this case, uh, I'm going to include only not, okay? Um, yeah. I can say I was not a teacher last mm -hmm. year, okay? I was not a teacher last year. Also, in this case, I can use wasn't, okay? The contraction. Yeah, that's a contraction, okay? The contraction, wasn't, okay? Um, for example, we were students in the module number one last month. What is the negative, Anna? What do you think? Were not or weren't. Excellent, okay. So we were not students in the module number one last month, or I can use weren't, okay? Weren't, okay? Let's see. Um, they were my colleagues, okay? They were my colleagues. Pedro, what do you think? How can I make this negative? Yes, they were not my colleagues. Mm -hmm. Oh, the contraction, they weren't my colleagues. Excellent, okay. So you see, this is very easy, okay. Um, you just need to think, okay, am I going to use was or were? Okay, was or were? Uh-huh, let's see, you were in Canada last year, Saida, what do you think? You were not or you weren't. Okay, perfect, okay, weren't, okay. So you were not in Canada and weren't, okay. And finally, I was in Canada last year. I was in Canada last year. What do you think, uh, Josue? I was not in Canada last year. Mm -hmm. Or the contraction? I wasn't. I wasn't in Canada last year. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So, if you see, uh, it is very easy to make this because we just need was or were. Okay. 
Now, let's see the yes not questions. Okay. For example, in the affirmative sentence, I can have She was my colleague. Okay. Uh, what is the principal verb over here? What? Was. was. So, as a yes no question, I'm going to have was at the beginning. Okay. Then I'm going to use okay. she. Was she my colleague? Uh huh. Was she my colleague? Okay. So over here, I can have two two answers. I can have yes or no. Okay. So yes. What is the subject? She was. Uh huh. Okay. Yes, she was. Okay. Now, what is the negative of was? No, she wasn't. Excellent. Okay. No, she wasn't. Okay. So that's how we make a yes no question. You need to have was or where at the beginning. Let's see now an example using where. Um, they were my classmates in the English class. Okay. So let's see, Pedro, what do you think? How can I make this um, how can I make this a question? Were they my classmates in the English class? Okay, were they my classmates in the English class? Thank you. Let's see, Saida, what do you think? How can I answer this using yes? Yes, uh, they, they were, no, they weren't. Excellent, okay. Yes, they were, no, they weren't, okay. Now we're going to do questions using you, okay? Because that's the last practice that we are going to do. For example, you were uh, in your house yesterday. Let's see, Anna, how can I make this a question? Were you in your house yesterday? Perfect. Were you in your house yesterday? <laughs> Let's see, Josue, what do you think? How can I answer this question? Mm -hmm. Were you in your house yesterday? Yes, uh, I was. Uh -huh. Yes, I was. I was. Negative? Oh, no, I wasn't. Okay, perfect. Okay. Perfect. Ah, come on. Okay. No, I was. Okay. So this is very important to remember that when we have a conversation, uh, we need to change. If the question is with you, I need to answer with I. Okay. And that's something that we need to remember uh, when we are doing this type of uh, questions. Okay. So. Right now, um, we're going to uh, think about two questions using where you, okay? Where you, okay? Where you. Remember that in this case, we can use the, uh, the verb to be to ask about professions, okay? That's how we use the verb to be, or to ask about a place, okay? Or, <coughs> Even we can use an adjective, okay? For example, were you a doctor three years ago, okay? Or were you uh, at the beach uh, last year, okay? Or were you, uh, were you stressed uh, in your house, okay? Or in your work, okay? Also, you may ask about a family member, okay? Was your father or mother or brother or sister? And you can ask about any of these three situations, okay? A place, a profession, or an adjective, okay? So try to think about two questions. Using were you or was maybe a family member, okay? And we're going to do the same thing. You're going to ask to two different people. 
to two different people. Okay, I'm going to start. For example, let's see, uh, Pedro, uh, were you in your house uh, last Sunday morning? Were you in your house last Sunday morning? Uh, yes, I was. Okay, perfect. Okay, <laughs> perfect. And finally, killer, but then I'm not in that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Anna, let's see. Uh, you told me that you have a brother, right? Yes. Okay, so was your brother uh, in your house? last Saturday? Um, um, yes. Yes. Sorry, repeat the question, please. Was your brother in your house last Saturday? Yes, he was. Excellent, okay, yes, he was. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Let's see. Um, Josue, do you want to ask your yes, no questions? Yes. Okay. Um, to whom? To Ana Molina. Mm -hmm. uh, were you at the hospital uh, last month? Last month. Yes, I was at the hospital last month with my oh. father. Ah, okay. okay. I thought it was uh, you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Mr. Pedro, uh, was your your son at the university the last last Sunday? Uh, no, he wasn't. Okay. okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you, Josue. Let's see, Pedro, now you asked two yes, no questions. Okay. Um, uh, was uh, uh, were you in your in your job uh, the last Saturday? Who? Oh. Um, Saida. Saida is not here. I think she have. A connection problem. So we have only Josue, Josue Ana, and teacher. <laughs> huh? Okay, Mr. Pedro. Uh, no, I wasn't. Okay, nice. Uh -huh. Perfect. Let's see. Uh, and question number two, Pedro. Uh, Ana. Okay. Uh, were you a teacher? <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> okay, perfect. Now, Anna, ask the two questions. Okay. The, my question is for Josue. Mm -hmm. okay. He talked to the, the last vacation when you went to visit Guatemala. Mm -hmm. How long were you there? Ah. Okay. Um... Um, I stayed uh, two days. Okay, perfect. I stayed, well, you stayed for two days. Okay, excellent. Okay, uh, Anna, question number two. Mr. Pedro. Oh, okay. Mr. Dennis. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's about you, teacher. It's okay. about, uh, okay. um, what was the best thing about your family? What was the best thing about my family? Yes. Um, but I live with my family, you know? I don't live alone. Alone? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Sorry, uh, formulate that, that, that question. Uh -huh. What Another? was the best thing about that live alone? You ah, live alone? Yeah, I lived alone. Uh, the, the best thing about living alone was... Um, that I could watch TV 
uh, all night if I want to. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Yeah, because, Excellent. <laughs> because I because I have my my TV in my bedroom. Okay. If in that. Yeah, uh, I live alone. <laughs> ah, I know. I need to do it. <laughs> and now, yeah. And now, and now, if I want, if I want to watch TV, I need to do it in the living room. And my parents sleep next to the living room, and they're like, "Danny, go to sleep, okay?" And I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> you have that problem. It's a big problem. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take the TV and I'm going to put it in my bedroom, okay, so that I don't have that problem. <laughs> okay, thank yeah. you. But it's the same because in in the night it's a uh, Netflix, the program Netflix. I know. Mm -hmm. or, or or movies too. But I know. I <laughs> I I I can watch the movie the Deadpool too. Ah, that's cool too. Huh? Yes, because I, I, I need to this class with, with, with you. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so thank you guys. Uh, thank you so much for practicing, okay, and for participating. Um, tomorrow, by the way, so for this class, you can finish the, the, the section number two, okay? You can finish the complete section number two. And we're going to start with the section number three tomorrow, okay? Okay. So this okay. is the last part. This is the last part of the section number two, okay? okay. Hopefully tomorrow uh, we can start practicing other things, okay? So okay. thank you so much. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Good Thank night, you, Mr. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.